or corrective value correctly value and that's it that's what the examiner is asking us to do we want they want us to identify why price multiples um, are used in equity valuation the reasons are there to determine whether the shares are overvalued undervalued or collectively valued that's why we need to conduct uh, um, equity or rather um, why price multiples are usually used. Part two of the question is saying as follows that Zawadi Designers Limited's shares are selling for 25 per share. The earnings for the last 12 months were one shilling per share. The average trailing price earnings PE ratio for the firm is in, Z is in Zawadi Designers Limited's industry is 32 times required to use the method of comparables in order to determine whether Zawadi Designers Limited share is overvalued or undervalued. So come here and say looking at November 2015 question 2a part 2 now. So you have been given um, figures there that uh, will be able to assist us to compute the price earnings ratio. So we are saying Zawadi Designers Limited shares or the price being given as 25 per share. And you've been told that the earnings for the last 12 months were one shilling per share. Earnings. One shilling per share like that so using these two inputs we'll be able to try and evaluate whether um, the price earnings ratio um, that we compute is either overvalued or undervalued so this is what we're going to do we're going to get the price to earnings earnings 
ratio move up there how you get or into brackets i can come back here and say p to e ratio like that see so p stroke e ratio is given as market price per share over earnings per share and we have those two inputs over there given to us so we have um, the price as 25 shillings or which is the market price per share divided by the earnings per share we have one shilling there so we are saying the price earnings ratio the PE ratio is 25 times like that now in order to determine whether the whether Zawadi designers limited share is overvalued or undervalued we need to use this computed price earnings ratio and compare 25 times with the, the one that you've been given there which you're saying is 32 times in this case we're saying that zawadi designers shares zawadi um, um, designers limited shares are undervalued because this value is less than the one that has been prescribed there to us as 32 times so we say zawadi designer 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 shares are undervalued because its p price earnings ratio is below that of the industry Keyword there is undervalued there, meaning that if you are an investor, you should be able to go ahead and buy the shares. Shares which are undervalued are below the industry average, and so you should be able to buy them so that if they try to adjust back up to the industry average, then you should be able to um, um, make some capital gains or some significant capital gains there. So moving on to part B of the question, you're being asked. To highlight two advantages of using the price to cash flow p to cf ratio as an equity valuation tool so you can come up over here and say you're looking at november 2015 question 2b yeah and you're seeing the two um, advantages include advantages of price to cash flow ratio so number one you can say that price to cash flow ratio um, or rather i can start off by saying that cash flow is stable instead of price to cash cash flow is more stable than earnings implying that um, it or the ratio the ratio of price to cash flow is or does not or um, does not fluctuate does not fluctuate so during times of a recession cash flows tend to be um, very um, stable um, as, as, of, as, as opposed to earnings earnings tend to move in business cycles so depending on how the performance of the macro factors the GDP, the inflation, the interest rates are, we're saying that um, if they tend to move down, then the earnings tend to move down. But the past for the cash flows, if the cash flows, um, um, or if, they if, if uh, the macro factors are moving down, or the economy is moving, in, is moving to a recession, then what you expect to find is that 
cash flows will relatively tend to be slightly much more stable than to earnings and health and and hence and it will be a much more meaningful measure especially during a period of the recession that's the first um, advantage number two we can say that cash flows are not easily cannot be easily manipulated so we say cash flow can not be easily manipulated by management by management so management at times want to always try and bolster um the the earnings or the reported earnings and you are saying now cash flows are not easily uh, manipulated by 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 management once you input that um earnings figure there um of course um, using uh, computer systems you will be able to get um, their price to cash flow there and trying to compute the cash flow um, from operations will be uh, one of the inputs is the net income so if you try and manipulate the net income and other inputs that try and touch on cash flow then you'll be able to get um, a significantly uh, different uh, values meaning this that cash flows are not easily or cannot be easily manipulated in the sense that um, um, at least for earnings or net income can be manipulated you can be able to try and reduce the amount of expenses so that you can be able to increase the amount of net income or the earnings but for cash flows are not easily um, manipulated um, like that so we look at thank you for watching this video don't forget to get yourself a copy of our professionally prepared study text and revision partners Visit our shop along Tomboya Street, Pioneer House, 3rd floor, opposite fire station.